This is everything you need to know about mastering Ace and Rainbow Six Siege. I'm gonna help you guys master all the operators in the game, whether you're a new player or not. So be sure to hit that subscribe button, or else you're gonna get DDoS the next game. Ace is one of the best operators in the game at his current stake with amazing loadout and a great ability. Tell me in the comments who do you guys think is the best heart breacher and why. It's time to put your English teacher's lessons to use. The perfect character for people who want to fill the heart breacher role in their team, but also have the ability to frag out with a solid loadout. Ace is a 33 year old attacker with a 2 armor, 2 speed that costs about 25,000 renown at the time recording this video. His primary weapon choices also include the AK 12 and Pulse's Apple Potato Cannon, the M1014, along with the secondary pistol, the P9. His gadgets include the choice of smoke grenades or bridging charges. But by the time this video comes out and you're watching this, Ace did get nerfed. That way his smoke grenades are reduced to a claymore, but I still want to go over the use of smoke grenades as a hard breacher. And an interesting fact, Ace is one of the best guns in the game, which makes him even easier to use. Here's a loadout I recommend that is mostly successful in all situations, but personal preference is key. We're going with the AK-12 equipped it with the 2X scope and the flash hider. The 2X provides great short and long range abilities and I don't need to be seeing fireworks when I shoot my weapon. Angle grip has more recoil but is faster scope in time. Vertical grip has less recoil but longer aim down sights time. Luckily the AK-12 doesn't have a lot of recoil so I run the angled. And for the P9 pistol I just have the muzzle brake because why would you need suppressor if you're not James Bond. Bridging charges are situational for vertical gameplay and blowing up certain walls but that's more of a job for other operators. And like I said, by the time this video comes out, Ace is going to have Claymore and Breaching Charges. So depending on where you're attacking, you can have Claymores to block the runouts, or I would most likely run Breaching Charges. Smoke Grenades are a fan favorite because you can smoke almost anywhere. The role of Ace is a Heart Breacher, so most of the time, the game gives you Diffuser, so having Smoke Grenades makes a more creative plant style. So if you have the best loadout, should it be rushing sight and killing everyone? Well, not quite. Your main job is Ace is still a heartbeat, you're getting the walls open and joining for the team. That doesn't mean you have to always sit back, lay back when watch everyone else have all the fun, it just means you are the pillar of the team's attack in more of a passive way. Ace's unique ability called the Selma is a throwable device that uses hydraulic pressure to destroy breakable and reinforced surfaces. The device can stick to walls, floors, ceilings, and hatches at their fully deploy of landing. Now you see in these clips that Ace, the, the Selmas don't actually detonate if they're not on a wall that they can detonate on. You can actually pick them up, unlike Hibana's Thermites, you can actually pick them up and uh, they'll still be in your pocket. So let's say you just uh, kind of missed the throw, you can still pick up the Ace and try again. Ace works similar to other hard breachers like Thermite and Hibana. Sorry Maverick, you can't sit with the cool kids at lunch. What makes Ace arguably the best heart breacher in the game is the fact that he's more efficient opening vaultable holes. A fun fact, if you want to make a line of sight without the enemy being able to walk in front of it, it's almost like making your own mirror hole on attack. Throw a Selma at the wall and shoot the bottom part of it before I detonate. Now here's how you can get creative with Ace's Selma. Throw the gadget directly at the mirror and wait for the mirror to be cleared. And when I say mirror, I mean a uh, mirror because she has a black mirror that works on one side but you can't see it on the other side, so it's really good that you can take him out with Ace from a distance and being safe. Just be careful, an enemy might try to catch you off guard and shoot right in front of your Aces as you open them up. To open any hatch, when it, even it, when it's electrified, you can take two Selmas to open up a hatch. Be careful not to use them too quickly because you only have three to start with. You don't want to leave your team hanging when they ask you, oh, can you open this up? And he's like, I'm already all out. So now that you know how to use Ace, how do you actually play him in a round from start to finish? First, let's leave our drones in a pretty placed spot inside the building or near or outside. I'll be showing you guys in game about what I'm about to explain. So now we're going into a real match or, or in game. I'm going to explain to you guys, kind of give you the framework of what you guys want to do in game. But first, we're going to pick up the diffuser and we're going to choose a spawning point that we're comfortable that we won't get spawn peaked. That way we can uh, ensure our success getting out of spawn. So wherever I'm spawning, I'm going to put my drone over where, I, where I'm coming in from. That way I don't want to just bring us to the building and get destroyed. I'm going to watch for spawn peaks, kind of leave stuff here. Put my drone in a safe spot where I can go to pick it up. Now also remember to take out default cams. They're going to be on like white poles like this. And then you just want to shoot those out. 
And then eventually, as you play the game a lot, you're going to learn what they all are. Now, depending on your entry point, help drone a teammate inside the building or help them get set up. So, for example, if the bomb site was down here, usually the bomb site would be downstairs in this building over here. So, you would just check out an area, have a teammate come follow your drone. Like, hey, this is clear. This is clear. You can go into here. All right. Uh, this is all clear. And then you can just put your drone here. Then kind of leave it for uh, in a safe spot, spot if you need to drone again. But don't be on drone for too long. Catch up every few seconds. Remember, you want to position yourself in a passive way to stay alive as long as possible so you can use your summons where your team needs them on a reinforced wall to get open. Now, if you don't know where the important walls are, ask where your teammates, uh, where they want uh, things to be opened up. And with practice and time, your map knowledge will expand. Once you use all your summons, you have two choices. You can get aggressive and frag out or you can stay passive enough to plant the bomb. Now that isn't always going to happen because your team might die early and the million factors come into play. That's what I love about Siege is that it's so unique and everyone can play the round differently. If you're going to get aggressive, that's where you need to demonstrate why the AK-12 is one of the best weapons in the game. You can also use smoke grenades to block vision and push one way or use an extra Selma to create noise while you sneak attack. Now if you're going to plant the bomb, make sure you use uh, yours or a teammate's drone to watch out for a fold denial or any kind of uh, flank watch to ensure that your plant is down safely. For example, I left mine over here, they'd be like, hey, can you watch this drone while we go for the plant? Now, my team doesn't have to worry about this area of spot unless a callout is made. They just have to worry about the line of sight that we made and also our other flank spots. Now, once the bomb is down, the result of the round is immediately in your favor because the time is now against the defenders to defuse the bomb, not against you forcing you to plant. You want to do the best you can to stay alive, but there will be some times where you need to apply pressure for, uh, to stop the enemy from getting too far into defusing the bomb. Because once you plant the bomb, defenders are looking for ways that they can create momentum against you to try to take out as many of you guys before defusing the bomb. So that's it. Congratulations, you have now mastered Ace. If you want me to master more operators, check out my channel and live streams on Twitch and daily highlights on my other brands and social media. Tell me in the comments who I should do next. I'm excited for this mastering series. Drop a like on this video if also it did help you in any kind of way because it helps the channel in all ways. Oh my god, you guys should have seen.